Welcome once again to Commander by Damon. Today's video is brought to us by Patreon supporter Brett. Brett has a friend who regularly steals his first sliver deck. The deck is ruthless, aggressive, and difficult to deal with, because slivers with Cascade just keep popping out and refilling the battlefield. So he wanted something similar, a deck with explosive turns, with creatures that combo, but Beatdown is still the main win con. Brett wanted something relentless, and he wanted either Animar Soul of the Elements or Henzi Toolbox Tori as the commander. And as you can see by the thumbnail and video title, I made my decision. But before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Henzi Toolbox Tori is a 3-mana, three 3-3 three, three legendary devil rogue. Henzi makes it so that each creature spell we cast with mana value 4 or greater has Blitz. The Blitz cost is equal to its mana cost. Blitz basically says we can cast this creature for its Blitz cost. If we do, it gains haste and, when this creature dies, draw a card. We also sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Additionally, Henzi says that Blitz costs one less to cast for each time we've cast our commander from the command zone this game. As I've often said, the two things you want to do in commander are ramp and draw cards. Commanders that do both are considered especially powerful. Sure, we're sacrificing the creatures that we Blitz into play, but that just means we want a small aristocrats package, right? Maybe some graveyard recursion? But before we get to our deck list, we should keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Savage Lands, Bloodstained Mire, Wooded Foothills, Verdant Catacombs, Arid Mesa, Misty Rainforest, Marsh Flats, Zia Taurus Proving Ground, Blood Crypt, Stomping Ground, Overgrown Tomb, Luxury Suite, Spire Garden, Undergrowth Stadium, Haunted Ridge, Rockfall Vale, Deathcap Glade, Sulphurous Mire, Highland Forest, Woodland Chasm, Bajuka Bog, Six Swamps, Two Mountains, and Six Forests. Soul Ring and Arcane Signet make up our mana rocks. Farseek, Three Visits, Cultivate, Kodama's Reach, Migration Path, Sky Shroud Claim, Solemn Simulacrum, and Primeval Herald for fetching lands. Ignoble Hierarch as our sole mana dork, along with Zeatora the Incinerator, Pitiless Plunderer, and Revel in Riches to make us treasure tokens. Greater Good, Grim Harospex, Midnight Reaper, Moldervine Reclamation, Liliana Dreadhorde General, Village Rites, Life's Legacy, Demonic Tutor, and Diabolic Intent help us dig through our deck and find answers. Noxious Gear Hulk, Ravenous Chupacabra, Assassin's Trophy, Beast Within, Chaos Warp, A Braid, Return to Nature, Putrefy, Dictate of Erebos, and Grave Pact make up our spot removal. Yes, I am a monster for running both of those enchantments. The Meat Hook Massacre, Blasphemous Act, Toxic Deluge, and Corpse Explosion. Yes, that is a lot of board wipes, why do you ask? Blood Artist, Zulaport Cutthroat, Sir Conrad the Grim, Bastion of Remembrance, 
and Poison Tip Archer make up our aristocrats. Vito Thorn of the Dusk Rose pairs nicely with all of them, as does Dina Soulsteeper. In fact, Dina serves double duty as a spare sacrifice outlet alongside Viscera Seer. Agadim's Awakening, Timeless Witness, Eternal Witness, Malakir Rebirth, Rushed Rebirth, Phyrexian Delver, and Victimize all help bring creatures back from the graveyard. Rakshasa Debaser, Open the Graves, Kura the Boundless Sky, Atsushi the Blazing Sky, Kokusho the Evening Star, Archon of Cruelty, Junji the Midnight Sky, Birthing Pod, Giant Ataphage, and Vindictive Lich make up the core of our deck. We've got lots of nasty death triggers that I'm excited for Brett to try out. Now that we have our deck list, we should compare it to our checklist. 52 mana sources split between 36 lands, 14 pieces of ramp, and 2 MDFCs. A little high, but this is a mana intensive deck, so it's fine. 10 pieces of card advantage, counting our commander, plus 7 pieces of graveyard recursion. 10 pieces of interaction, 4 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, 1 sudden I win card in Revel in Riches. Of course, as soon as we play Revel in Riches, we will be the target, which is fine. Jund is used to being the misunderstood villain, or the actual villain, depending on your playstyle. We are running Dictative Erebos and Grave Pact, after all. Do you have a Henzi Toolbox Tory deck? What about a Jund deck? What's the theme of your deck? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor, Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, there's a link to her Fiverr page below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications, and even do a deck video on it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Waffles, Jiraiya, Muffins, Marcus, Phoenix of Ice, Squishy, RGC, Brett, Ignis, Roxy, Brian, Josh, and Sean. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos often, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Danan. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danan.